Hello and welcome to another Stellaris modding video. This time we are doing a non-animated static uh, custom portrait for the races. And for this uh, we are using this picture. Uh, a friend of mine wanted to use this uh, fan-made picture of uh, Tali from Mass Effect as uh, his uh, race uh, portrait in the game and asked uh, was it possible to do and how easy it was to do. And so I did. So. This is how it looks in a, a picture editor. I'm using GIMP with a DDS plugin. It's again a DDS file, and I'll have a link for both Jim, uh, GIMP and uh, the extension uh, plugin for that in the description of this video. So if you want to do this yourself, and uh, I went with these dim dimensions, uh, the 350 height or a bit less is probably what you want uh, for your custom portraits. To have them uh, properly scaled, and uh, this was about the width that felt uh, about right for me. But you w may want to play with this a bit. But th around this ball bark is probably what you want to have as your image size. And then you just save this picture somewhere in the graphics uh, directory, in the Stellaris main directory. I would probably make a custom uh, directory. Uh, I didn't do it for this one. I, I just put it in the Mammalians. And that's pretty much everything you need to do in this one. Just get a cutout of a image you want, and just uh, let the everything else be transparent behind it. And then just save it into the DDS file inside somewhere the, in the graphics directory. And then let's close that and go into the actual files here. So what you want to do, you want to go into the portraits here first. So this is the file where all the portrait settings are done. And you need a... Uh, this one uh, is uh, located in uh, Stellaris Graphics uh, Portraits Portraits and it's portraits.dxt uh, and you need also this other file the common species classes uh, species classes.dxt to add your custom uh, images. And uh, in here, you if you scroll down you see there's all kind of uh, orientation for them and. Down here it starts to list uh, all the mammalian options, mammalian 1, 2, 3, and so on, and just goes uh, listing all the DDS files for them. And then you go down here, you have reptilians, avians, arthropods, molluscoids, fungi. And what I did uh, at the end of the fungi here, I originally had it as a fun one fungi race, and uh, one mammalian race, but uh, I moved it uh, a bit down here. I added a custom. Uh, custom uh, option here. So it's now cus1. See, these were mam1, fun1, and so on. So I call it cus1 to make it a custom selection. And in the here, inside of the cus1, we have this information. So we have the entity, which is the graphics model, portraits, mammalian, tally, DDS. This is the image file I made in the GIMP. And this is the texture file, the same, same file for both of them. You can have separate ones, of course, if you want to. I went with just uh, using the one. And this is where I would um, make the custom uh, directory as well. So, graphics models, portraits, make a custom directory for your own ones and then just put all the custom rays in there. And I went with no clothes selection because uh, the picture had a, a clothes on her already. But I guess you could uh, just uh, cut the image from neck down and have some of the existing uh, 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 clothes options laid over that. I haven't tried this yet. But I'm sure it's possible. Also, no hair option. Uh, it seems only the humans really have the hair selection out of all the races. What I've uh, gone through. And many of the other races don't even have the clothes selection as well. So it's fine. It's fine. And then just have uh, creating sounds. They need to have some creating sound. I with mammalian one. You probably would want to go with the human. Or I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want for your race. So this is what we did in this file. Just a custom one option here. And then we went to the species classes here, where uh, all the other, all the portraits are uh, listed that will be inside the game, uh, in the selection. So I added a custom, so these are the MAM1, or MAM, Rep, uh, AV, which is, um, of course, is the mammalians, reptilians, avians, and etc. And it just lists here human and the mammalians in certain order. It also lists uh, what DLC bonuses you get here. and. Uh, I just copy for pasted uh, this mammalian up here, change it to custom to give it a better name. Uh, these are defined somewhere else. 
so that Mem is Mammalian and so on. But my custom is just custom here. And this cus one is the cus one we added here. So we just listed it here. So we have one custom race. And then I had kept the graphical culture mammalian and the moving pop sound is this is the human moving sound. So I kept the that in there. So these are the only three things we need to do to add a custom portrait. Make that a DDS file for the race. Just uh, make it a try out, try out to get it uh, into proper dimensions so how it looks nice. And then add. You don't have to do this custom one. You could pop your race here in the mammalian section if you really wanted to. But I, I felt uh, having a custom uh, tab for all your own custom races was a really cool idea. And then this, uh, this one in the other file. And let's go into the actual game and see how it looks in there. So I'll go new game here, create a new, and select, and we'll go to appearances. And so this is why I did uh, the custom options, which is in the top here. And uh, in here you see that this is already full of uh, mammalians, for example. And the UI here doesn't, at the moment, I'm making this video, doesn't support more races in the list than this. If you actually add uh, an extra one here, it will push uh, one of the races down here under the back button without actual scroll bar here or anything. I think that should be fixed at some point, especially if they want to add Mammalian races, they probably need to have... <laughs> are they gonna make Mammalian 2? Or just a scroll bar there. And then same thing in here with the Reptilians, Avians and everyone. It was getting a bit crowded, so I didn't want to add anything else. That's a buggy one, because I've been playing with things. So here, instead a custom. And here we have my custom race. It's a bit bigger than the default human, as you can see. So you want to play with this size a bit, but I thought this was look this looked pretty okay as is, and it was a, just a quick test, anyways, to see how it does, how it looks inside the game. And then I went to next, and just gave it a, a name. Uh, this is a small issue with the custom race at the moment that I haven't figured out yet. Uh, randomized names don't work. <laughs> it's. Uh, may even crash your game. So instead just give it a name yourself. I'm just going to go in blah 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 and ship names, use one of the name lists, then agrarian or whatever. Give it a name. Starting ruler is Bella. And then homeworld is Bella. Bella. Everything. And go with city appearance, some some ethics and government type. And empire name. And then a flag as well and all these and now we're done now we can go see how it looks in the game it actually looks better in game than it looks in here in my opinion so it's done play and here we are so it gets shown in here in the starting window and uh, as you can see it's it's all over the place here in the ruler section looks pretty cool uh, of course, there's a small problem with this. Uh, it shows the same picture for all your leaders and everything, but that's same for other races as well. If you are, uh, for example, a bug race, all your bug races, will, all your leaders look, look the same. So it's not that big of a deal, in my opinion. But for example, here you can see it's, it's properly laid out with backgrounds in all of these. In here. Shows just fine. Wherever you go, governor looks fine, and here as well. So e even as a non-animated, just a quick test, it looks pretty cool and okay in the game. And even though it looked a bit large in the race selection, I don't think it looks uh, that big. I think it actually looks quite quite fine. So yeah, that's a uh, that's how you add a, a non-animated, very easy static. Uh, custom portrait into the game. So, thank you for watching this modding video. Check out the other modding videos as well, and there will be probably more coming in the future. And also check out the other content on the YouTube channel, the reviews, let's plays, other guides, and also check out the live stream on Nard.tv where I live stream Stellaris and many other building management strategy games and a few others here and there. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.